The Seathwaite Farm is known as the wettest place in England with 140 inches of rain per year. So that's our tent, nicely dragged to higher ground and that's where we were and that's the river along there. <sighs> Rookie mistake. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. We slept in the car last night. In the mini. Disaster struck at the campsite. Um, we got a nice early night because we were really, really tired and then woke up like, oh, this is, this feels all right. This feels a bit it's like, like a we're in a bed. water bed. <laughs> mm. Turns out we were in a water bed. The, um, the river broke its banks and flooded our entire campsite and basically everybody else that was down there. Um, Ours was the worst off, I think, though, because it we broke We were in like, the worst area. Yeah, it broke like right next to our tent. Yeah, so we quickly shoved everything in the mini that we could and um, move the tent. We don't know if the tent's damaged because we just dragged it along the ground. Yeah. Um, and now we're trying to pack up the car with like everything wet. But at least before the rain comes back again. So we woke up and we're like, we need to get out of the car now and start packing up because it's not raining at yeah. all right now. Um, yeah, and we don't know how we're going to dry everything out because we live in a tiny flat with like no outside area apart from the car park that's on the road, so... We don't know if we're going to actually be doing anything here in the Lake District today. No. I feel like we're just going to pack up and go home. Yeah, it's um, going to be a bit hard. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. I'll um, show you a clip from us in the car last night um, yeah. and walking around in the soggy water. They're very dark, they're very grainy. Um, it's just on the phone, so... Yeah. Here you go. So we are dripping wet, it's 12.30 at night, and we are in our mini. <laughs> because we got flooded out in our tent. So we literally, we woke up and we were like, feels like there's water underneath the tent. I feel like it's coming through and we're like, no, it's just cold. And then we're like pressing the bottom of the tent and it was like wobbling and then our beds were like wobbling. We're like, we're in a yeah. river. And then we looked out the door and we actually were in a river. That is the river Buster's Banks. Right onto our campsite. Everyone down there is under as well. Yeah. There was um, water all around us and then we thought, oh, what do we do? We should probably start packing up. And suddenly, psh, water all through the tent. Run get the doona and the pillows out because they're our only doona and pillows um yeah. make sure they stay dry get luckily there was nothing really electronic in there we um, had our phones and our um, one portable charger that was it um which we grabbed <laughs> so we ran out we chucked all that stuff in the car then we ran back to the tent unpegged it and dragged it up to like a slope on higher ground. Up near where our car is. Um, don't know if the tent is okay anymore. Like, yeah. Don't know if we've caused damage to like, it. Like ripped to the bottom of the tent by moving it or whatnot. But I'd, like, I, it doesn't feel like the rain is going to let up at all. No. Um, and it actually, it actually was a river. The river that we were next to <laughs> broke its banks. Oh my god. Um, and it's flooded all where we were and it looks like it's flooded all where the other people are like the majority of the campsite yeah um that's a that's a lesson we've learnt is don't camp next to a river especially one that's like a mountainous river where all yeah. the water comes down the mountains and goes into that we probably should have thought of that um, i just feel like i've never so We've, we've lived in the UK almost three years. I've never known rain like this in, in the UK. No, neither have I. I just, I just didn't think rain like this occurred. Like, I've never seen it before. This, this is like, this is this like is torrential like, rain. Yeah, the, this is like rain we have in Australia. 
when it's like the wet season. Yeah. Yeah, this is, it's normally it's just kind of like little misty rain, um, but this is big, it's relentless. And it's coming down from all the mountains straight into our campsite. Yeah. Um, so we've moved everything. Now everything is wet in the car or semi wet. A poor and, little mini. Yeah, uh, it's been through a lot this trip. Yeah. Um, I mean, what do you get going camping in a mini and minimal supplies? Yeah. But still. So that's just a quick update. We're going to try and sleep in the mini now. So I think. Next time we go camping, maybe we'll just f the tent off and f everything else off and just sleep in the mini. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the camera's somewhere wow. back there in all our stuff, so we're on Jory's phone. Um, <sighs> yeah. Woo! What an adventure. Yeah, seriously. Anyway, let's see how sleeping in our car goes tonight. Yeah. If we sleep. Yeah. So we've all packed up now and come into Keswick for some breakfast. Um, we couldn't, we just couldn't do cooking and everything like that in the morning. So we've decided stuff that will come in and we'll buy breakfast again same place we were at yesterday um, we're wearing a bit of a like mismatch of clothes I'm in my undies from a few days ago because <laughs> yeah because they were the only thing that things that were dry everything was wet and I'm in the jeans that I went on the hike in yesterday and I'm actually all right. Malika's in short shorts and it's really cold yeah. but at least she looks all right I'm in jeans and, and thongs or flip-flops because <laughs> all my shoes are wet um, we're gonna have a nice brekkie and then hopefully maybe we'll get to um, the Beatrix Potter Museum just so that we've done something today. Yeah. Let's go and get a feed. Yes. Nice hot meal after being cold and flooded out. Goes down really well. My legs are killing me from yesterday's walk up. Um, if you haven't seen our video from yesterday, we walked up. I can't, I'm blanking on the name. Park. Yeah, we walked up Scorful Park yesterday. 35,000 steps yesterday and 23 kilometres. It was a big day. Up and down 927 metres. Yep. So we've just gone on this massive detour. There were police in the middle of the road like pointing us to go somewhere else. And we ended up having to go on a detour for, that added like, it added like an extra hour onto our trip um, on the way to the Beatrix Potter Gallery. Um, but it's been really cool, like we've gone through all these um, like countryside roads and our Google Maps just kept telling us to go back to where the police were. So we've had to do like some big roundabout way that we just made up. Um, but it's really cool because we've ended up out at Ullswater, which we were never going to see. And now the route that we're taking is taking us down to Windermere, which as well we were never going to go to. So we will get there eventually, it's just taking a lot longer than planned. So it's pretty crazy the conditions here. Um, we just had our sunnies on before because it was really bright and now there's the thickest fog we've ever been driving in. Yeah. Our fog lights are on and we can barely see what's in front of us. Um, it's really like creepy and eerie but really cool as well. Yeah, it's really cool. Um, we're getting near Windermere now. So I wonder what Windermere is like. I wonder yeah. if all of Windermere is really foggy. Because I don't feel like we're that high up. No, but we must be. We, I guess we've just driven up like a windy range. A windy like pass type of thing, hey. Yeah. And there's, it looks like there's a drop off next yeah, to there us. Is. So It's like 50 metres in front though, like I can't see or not even. Mm. But, yeah, let's see what it's like at Windermere, yeah. yeah. Mm. 
So we are here at Ray Castle, which is where Beatrix Potter stayed for three months when she was 16 with her family. Um, and it's where a lot of her kind of inspiration came for her illustrations and her stories. It's where she fell in love with the Lake District as well and yeah. why she ended up moving back here. Yeah, and purchasing the farm at Hilltop. Um, so yeah, we wanted to pop by and have a little look. Um, unfortunately, we can't go in though because we're running a bit late to catch the Beatrix Potter Gallery and we're really keen to get in there. So we thought we'd pop by, see the castle here, and then now we're going to head on to the gallery. So we've made it to the Beatrix Potter Gallery. We went, we, we went through another diversion, road yeah. closed. We didn't think we would get here. We went down a tiny, tiny road that literally could only fit one car. One car. Just. So if we met another car coming towards us, we would have had to reverse all the way up. We parked here in Hawkshead and we had to run to the gallery. Yeah. But we did it. We did it. We're here and it's already really cool. We're only in the first room, but we're so keen. And just found out this is the lawyer's office where Beatrix met her husband William, so yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty special. All right, let's have a look. Yeah. feeling a bit emotional like it's really special seeing all this stuff and I felt like that at Hilltop Farm as well like yeah I don't know I just some feeling comes over me when I'm in these places with Beatrice Potter's history I love this so much yeah I just, it's really, really special to be here and to be seeing these original illustrations and like the stories behind it, like the original sketches and the proofs. Yeah, I love it. So that was incredibly special. Yeah. Um, reading all the stories behind her characters and how they're all based on real pets. Um, real animals that she drew and that she got their characteristics and their personality from them. Um, just really, really beautiful. Yeah, it was. And um, that's where we're going to leave it for the, for the day. We're um, basically just going to drive home now and wring everything out and try and dry everything. <laughs> um, but I'm really happy that we got here. I'm, I'm so stoked. happy. Yeah, it was one of the big things we really wanted to get in. We thought we were going to miss out, but we got here. Yeah. To see originals as well is yeah. pretty stunning. And yeah. they're so intricate. and Just just absolutely beautiful and special and amazing. And yeah. It's been a great day. It has. Even how it started. <laughs> anyway, if you've liked our videos, give us a thumbs up and please subscribe because it helps us out and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.